So I've started covering it, um, and I've been telling my readers about Tweed, right. and you know, getting the whole, trying to get my you know finger on the pulse of this whole Canadian mar medical marijuana market. Right. And uh, it seems like you guys were kind of rising to the top, so I figured I'd come see it for myself and share it, share it with my readers. Well, and I think you know a lot of the people in the U.S. It's it's a great thing. Am I per is it a permissible investment in Canada or not? And I'll tell you that my biggest institutional investors, those who hold 9.9 percent .9 of the company, because you have to declare when you go over 10 percent, mm -hmm. um, are all American. Prior to doing the acquisition, and they're all at a large funds running five to eight or nine or ten billion U.S. dollars. Wow. And so they have uh, legal opinions that say it is absolutely lawful to invest outside of the U.S. into what's lawful in the country you're investing. So it's no different than if uh, Canada had a type of um, arthritic medication made by a firm that was approved for Canada but not the U.S. You sure. can invest in that company. Just going into the company. Yeah, and so um, they, it is completely lawful. And then what happens is uh, part of the reason it's lawful is part of the reason your retail investors will want to invest. And the reason is we are regulated where it's federally permissible, which means that we use banks, we use Deloitte and Touche as an auditing firm, we have everything happening on a traceable basis, meaning there is no cash transacted to purchase our product. Um, everything is written by uh, scripts which are through proper and full medical, and it's for the whole country. There's no pricing program established by the government. It's market-based pricing. So what they're investing in is something that I have a proper auditor review all of the transactions which are traceable. I track only normal corporate taxes. I don't pay any sin tax because this is a medicine. Yeah, right, yeah. And so it is a very transparent, rapidly growing, it's easily like identifiable. Yeah, yeah, and so that kind of investment environment, what you have is speculation on the merit of the company, not speculation on am I getting ripped off by the company. Well, and the merit of the industry, too. Yeah. Like, you know, it's where it's going. So. Yeah, and in, in Canada, um, some people will say, well, you know, it's, it's, it's catching on and it's growing at, you know, 10% a month or whatever, but um, in terms of number of patients. But it's not recreational. And that's true. It's not sure. recreational. But what it is, is California is not recreational either. And so what I think you'll find is over time, no matter what the regulatory scheme, once the opportunity for people to acquire properly produced product in a lawful way that is uh, the full spectrum and it's of the appropriate price range. People don't like breaking the law to get bad product at a ripoff. No, naturally. And so there's a <laughs> heck of an opportunity to take all those people in Canada who've chosen that this might be a good thing, become a big, big business here, very capable and strong, take the whole scenario you've captured here, all the methods, and then say, now that we're strong in our own country and it's federally regulated, oh, you in Brazil, you're opening it up. Oh, you in Australia, you're opening up, and we can start to take the strength of experience here, use this cash flow to fund other opportunities, and before you know it, you have somebody doing pretty international stuff. Yeah, and you have the model already set, ready yeah. to go. And, and it's like everything. This is really easy to do once you're done. Um, there were quite a few twists in the process of getting here. Oh, I bet. Uh, so I, I think that that's the kind of thing uh, that's happening. And the only question is, is this a topic which is going to keep moving, or is for some reason it going to stop? and become taboo. And when you can have the Republicans debate it and Mr. Bush can say he smoked it, yeah. um, it's gonna be hard to figure out who the hell is gonna stop it.